CNP Featured Research. This is your Diet Mental Health Break number five, brought to you by the Center for Nutritional Psychology. Two minutes to learn and be good to yourself. Can your perception of how much sugar a product contains affect your body's physiological response to that sugar? A study by Dr. Chanmo Park and his colleagues, Dr. Langer and Dr. Pagnini, wanted to find out. 30 participants with type 2 diabetes were divided into two groups and given a sugar-sweetened beverage. One group was shown a nutrition label that reported zero grams of sugar in the beverage, while the other was shown a nutrition label that reported 30 grams of sugar. In reality, all participants received the same exact beverage containing 15 grams of sugar. The researchers measured blood glucose levels four times throughout the experiment, immediately before consumption and 20, 40 and 60 minutes after consumption. They found that the participants who were shown the high sugar label had higher levels of glucose in their bloodstream than those who thought they were drinking a sugar-free beverage. This means that the participants' blood glucose values changed exclusively due to their psychological perception of the sugar content, rather than the amount of sugar they actually consumed. While study results showed that the perception of sugar content affected changes in diabetic participants' blood glucose levels, it also revealed that their perception of how much sugar was included in the drink was influenced by their underlying emotional processes. namely those whose blood glucose levels increased the most in response to the drink's perceived sugar content were those who were influenced more by external cues in their environment, like whether it was time to eat or if other people were eating. Those who were driven more by their internal or introspective cues of hunger had a more accurate perception of the drink's actual sugar content. And this more accurate perception was more aligned with an accurate physiological response to the drink's sugar content. These findings help us to understand that psychological and physiological processes aren't independent of each other, like we originally thought. More studies like these informing the diet-mental health relationship can be found in the CNP research libraries. Our thanks to Dr. Chanmo Park and his colleagues for conducting this informative research. This Diet Mental Health Break is brought to you by the Center for Nutritional Psychology, CNP.